He ain't paying no attention. <laughs> I got him that I got his attention that time. I got that raccoon's attention that time. 8.33. It's 8.33 right now, raccoon. 8.33. You a little bit early this morning, ain't you? <laughs> I mean, I mean this afternoon. My damn dog. Yeah, I'm working with him. I'm trying to get that dog to shut up. It might take me another week or two, but we working. It's about 8.30, 8.33, I think it was. I looked at the clock just then. Raccoon, he getting an early start tonight. That raccoon getting an early start tonight. Oh, good raccoon, too. I'm going to come over there and take the top off for you. I'm going to come over and take, get that red top off for you. <laughs> I'm coming over and get that top off for you. <clears throat> come here. Now. Now then. Now then, raccoon. 8.30. He's got a long night planned tonight. He's got a lot planned tonight. He's got a lot going on tonight. Raccoon got a lot going on tonight. He got a lot going on. You see how close I got that bowl right here. I got it, I got it real close to me. That raccoon said you got it too close to yourself. You, you being stingy. Oh, that raccoon said you being stingy. Oh, raccoon right there. What happened to the dog? Raccoon, he's looking down there where the dog is. Cold out here. I had to put my coat on. I put a long sleeve. Ooh. I put a thick long sleeve shirt on. Just put my coat on too because I was cold. That raccoon came by last night about twelve o'clock, and I was I was give out. I just be, I'm a, I just I'm just give out. That raccoon come by about twelve 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 thirty last night, and uh, time that raccoon left there, I went down and laid down. And I slept eleven hours. I slept 11 hours last night. I got up this morning and looked and nobody has messed with the food bowl. The top was still on the bowl. No raccoon that came by since 12.30. He was the last one that came by. I put them all up here just in case. I put them up there just in case. That raccoon, that raccoon had to talk with that dog. <laughs> that raccoon had to talk with that dog. He didn't listen though, did he? He will listen. Sometimes people are stubborn. Sometimes people are stubborn. Sometimes people... They're a little slow on learning. <laughs> you won't know what happened to that dog. That dog barking, now the dog ain't barking. <laughs> dog barks, now the dog don't bark. Don't just drop them over there and just spill them everywhere now. I've already seen three rats out here tonight. Not out here, but three rats messing around. He got something on his mind now. He's fixing to do something. Look at him standing up. He got something on his mind. 
he hears something down there, he don't know what it is. Yeah, you don't see the raccoon stand up like that a whole lot. I don't anyway. I try to be quiet whenever he's listening, he's looking like that. I try not to say anything or make any noise. He keeps looking that way. There might be some more raccoons down there going to come up here in a few minutes. <laughs> what kind of circle was that? Raccoon, he went around and around in a circle before he stopped. <laughs> Reminded me of a dog, how a dog does before he lays down. The old dog, he go around and around two or three circles sometime before he finally stops and lays down. <sighs> he dropped one over there on the on the uh, on. Uh, 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 on the other table over there now. You dropped one on that other table over there. I got this one right here you dropped. I got to buy more pecans tomorrow or the next day. What's today? Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, I got to get trash ready for tomorrow. Trash day tomorrow. I got a lot of work done today though. I got to the kitchen cleaned up real good. Cooked something. Got all that mess cleaned up. I worked in the yard. I was hurting my hip, my back, my leg was sore. They hurt from all the work I did. The neighbors there remodeling the house. They threw some more cypress boards away, and I went over there and got the cypress boards. I'm talking about cypress boards, you know, four or five inches wide there, and, you know, eight foot long, ten foot long. Cypress boards are expensive nowadays. I heard the neighbor's door over there shut. You know where the dog is? I think they might have come out and said something to the dog. I don't know. Raccoon, you are making a mess. You're just making a mess. Look at him. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm, <clears throat> I think what I might do is just type up uh, a couple small letters there, not letters, but a, a sheet of paper, and just go down the neighborhood there and leaving a leaving a uh, a piece of paper there on everybody's door, talking about them dogs barking there and get everybody involved in the whole neighborhood around. They can wonder who put the letter up. Uh, notice up later on. I do like I did one time before there. I made a a big old sign there like that, and I put on there about something other there. Then I just put it on the side of the telephone pole. I didn't staple or nail it because they don't like for that. I taped it to the telephone pole. And I put them up two or three places there, and when I did that, situations changed. I got the whole neighbor, neighborhood involved. Once a month, the church right down the road, the church right down the road from where I live at, they have a, a meeting, a neighborhood meeting once a month. And um, that's a good place to take, the, take your complaints is what they want. They want people to come and say what's good about the neighborhood, what's bad about the neighborhood and all. And this church does that once a month. 
And I think that's a good thing. Because all you have to do is go down there and, and anonymously, you can just, you know, write down what you're thinking right there and all, and they'll bring it up at the, meet, at the meeting. And, uh, but that's a good thing, I think. Because that way everybody can get involved. Because like I said there, I've, two or three times, I've lived in my house four, 38, 40 years. I've lived in my house 38, 40 years. And, uh, but I have new neighbors move in there and they do something I don't like. And I'll go over there and say something to them and ask them, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Or, you know, because they'd be, like I say, they'd be out here at, like the dog barking and the neighbors the other day, they were out here partying at one o'clock and one thirty in the morning, you know. And, um, uh, which I don't, don't care, but I take care of my mother there. She's 92 years old, so she don't get any rest when you're out here at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning making a lot of noise. She don't get her rest. And then when you're that old, you need your rest. And, uh, but anyway, I've asked the neighbors not to do a few things. Like my one neighbor, he bought him a house across the road. And uh, he put some bright lights up where they shine. And when, I, when I'd walk out my front door, I had to put a, put my hand in front of my face, in front of my eyes, because the lights were just shining right in, right in my eyes. So uh, I asked him, I says, hey, man, I says, how about adjust your lights a little bit, you know, adjust them down so they don't shine, you know, right, right in my eyes like that. And um, he says, no, I'm not going to adjust them. And I said, well, that's okay, too. That's okay. You ain't got to adjust them if you don't want to adjust them. And so, you know, that put me and him on a a rocky situation there. And, and uh, I've asked the neighbors, you know, don't be playing the radio at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning wide open there and then be out there drinking a Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. And, and, you know, and they didn't pay me any mind. So, you know, it's neighbors, they don't, they don't, they don't respect Sound like somebody's in my front yard. Oh, Raccoon, he won't know where all the pecans went to. I didn't bring them all out. I didn't bring them all pecans out. Raccoon, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bring them all pecans out. I got some in there. There's squirrels, they eat all of them. But <laughs> I blamed it on the squirrels. Raccoon, I blamed on the pecans on the squirrels. Yeah, today I had the squirrel and I had a bird. And I don't know what kind of bird it was. It's a little, little tiny small bird, but it had a... It looked like a... It was a blue. It was blue, but it had a... Um, above his head, it looked like a tomahawk. You know, a tomahawk haircut, whatever they call them. Quit making a mess down there. He's hanging right off the edge over there now, eating and crumbs is falling in the grass. I had to, right now I had to get the whole... Yeah, people just don't respect you. That people just don't get, show you any respect. Quit doing that, Stumbo. <laughs> I called you a Dumbo. Just take that stuff and you know, walk over there and drop it off the edge over there. And... You ain't listening to what I say. I was just talking about the neighbor don't listen. You ain't listening either. He's a neighbor. <laughs> that raccoon said he's a neighbor. He sleeps in a tree. <laughs> I wonder where them raccoons go to all the time. Ouch. I 
What is it? It's about all of them, ain't it? You got some down there on that other table down there. I can see them from right here. Yes, their hands are very gentle. It's like a baby. Their hands are soft like a baby. Like a baby's butt, their hands are. The palm of their hands are tender. <laughs> He might have been Elvis Presley there, Love Me Tender. <laughs> that raccoon might have been Love Me Tender Elvis. He might be Elvis come back. He see that when we peek in there. He see that peek in there. He gonna root like a hog now. He's fixing root. He gonna root like a hog right now. There's a piece right there too. Don't bite me now. <laughs> he just about, he just about touched me with his nose. You want some water? Come on over here. Now just clean that thing out. It's good clean water in there too. It's good clean water. Well, I'll tell you what, I was at work. My muscles was hurting me bad. I went in and filled the bathtub with some hot water. And I laid in that hot water for about 20 minutes there. And I felt a lot better when I got out of that bathtub. That hot water, it felt good. You got two or three pecans. You got four or five pecans right here I'm picking. You got a mess right here I'm picking up. I'm picking all this mess you made up right here. I picked that mess up you made right there. Raccoon. Mess maker. Why are you going over there? What are you do? What are you doing over there? There goes that rat down the fence. That raccoon started walking that way. That rat took off. I think that's what that rat hit. I think that's what the raccoon hears is those rats. They get on that chain link fence and run up and down the chain link fence and make noise. Yeah, he wobbling off. Alright, let me clean up some of this mess he made. Ain't much pecans left in there. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Oi, you tell you what. Oi. Look at this mess. Look at that mess. You got a mess done there. Old mess maker. That was a good name. <laughs> that was a good name for that raccoon mess maker, cause that's what he does to make a mess. Old mess maker. Old mess maker. He's a good raccoon. A good looking raccoon. He looks healthy. Yeah, for the last two years I've had a, a rabies shot, vaccination, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> Emergency room told me don't come back around there if I get bit, <laughs> if I get bit by the raccoon. <laughs> that was funny. That doctor, he says, don't come back around here if you get back bit by a raccoon now. He said, just go to your primary doctor around there and let them take care of you. <laughs> I told him, no, I'm going to come back in here. No, I was picking on him. All right, it was about 8.33 when that raccoon came by just then. Oh, my back is killing me. All that work I did today and yesterday stopped this video.